welcome back to my channel thank you for all the stopping by if you're new here you're welcome and today i'll be showing you exactly how to cut the skin illusion cap sleeve um this is actually a sleeve that has a basic sleeve and also a cap sleeve and um, please when you're cutting yours please make sure that you cut it with um a skin illusion mesh or tool um this is actually just for tutorial purpose and that's why i'm using this particular fabric this is a transparent cotton fabric it's a wrong fabric for it but for this tutorial i'm going to be using it um to show exactly how to cut it so let's um cut the cap sleeve first how we are drafting it on the paper because we need it to actually show more so that's why we're drafting it first on the paper so we measured four inch downward we are measuring four inch downwards on the paper for the cap sleeve and then um for the width as well is going to be four inch so it's going to actually give us a square so basically what we want is four by four so four inch for the um length like as you can see already and then for the width we are also going to measure four inch so that's what we're actually measuring now four inch four inch um sideways four inch downward so it's going to give us a perfect square so this can actually work for anybody this um except the person is a child if it's a child you can adjust it to three inches but four inches enough for an adult for the cap sleeve so i'll also be measuring one inch uh, upward from the lower part that's from the length so one inch upward is what i'm going to measure and then from that part that's where i'll make my curve from so to make my curve it's just going to be a freehand curve and i'll just make some dotted lines so that's what i'm doing now making some dotted lines to the one inch point and as soon as i'm, do I'm done with that i will just um, join the points so that's how i make my freehand curve if you want to use a curved ruler you can use a curved ruler for this it will also be perfect so please the next thing to also do is to go ahead and actually cut out so cut out as soon as you're done cutting out then we have our cap sleeve already done it's very easy so the cap sleeve is done already and um, for this you, um, when you're transferring to a fabric you can actually um, use any type of fabric that is strong enough and it should be the same color with this um, tool and also you will be adding stay so let's go to the main fabric which is just um, the basic sleeve the bit for the basic sleeve Please, like I said, if you're using when you are cutting yours after drafting, do not forget to use a skin illusion tool because it's not supposed to show at all. So um, let's mark out the um, sleeve length. The sleeve length in this case is 22. So that's what we are marking out. So mark out the sleeve length first and then go ahead and mark out the round sleeve so let's cut out the excess and then go ahead and mark out the round sleeve the round sleeve in my case is actually um, eight inches so eight divided by um, two is four inches because the paper is folded into two and then we'll be adding one inch seam allowance so that it's going to give us five inches so that's exactly what we are marking here now so the five inch point for the round sleeve so we're just going to extend it to show that that's where the round sleeve stops and then the next thing to do is to go for the armhole point so for the armhole point in this case we'll be using the cap sleeve to trace out the armhole the armhole i'm using is actually 16 so usually when you're sewing you measure the armhole on your dress and then you ex you um transfer it to the armhole of the sleeve so in this case it's 16 and this paper is folded into two so 16 divided by two is eight so first what um we know that eight is what we need so we uh, measure out the cap sleeve so let's just trace out the cap sleeve first whatever it gives us we'll minus it from eight and then we'll um join the other point so that's what we are doing now so i just um traced out the cap sleeve now um to the point where the one inch stop that's what i'm i've done so the one inch point is now added so let's measure out what the cap sleeve gives um has given us the cap sleeve is actually giving me exactly five inches so we have five inches for the cap sleeve um so and remember we said eight inches is what we need here so eight minus five is going to give us three inches so we need three more inches so let's just extend it by three more inches sideways so we're just going to extend it by three more inches sideways so basically we're just forming a um sleeve cap that's what we are doing we're forming a basic sleeve cap so let's add the three inches that we need and then make a curve 
and then we'll get our sleeve already done so it's actually very very easy so we just join the points let's just join the points this is the point now we have our sleeve forming and then the next thing to do is to join the sleeve cap to our the round sleeve so you can see we have our sleeve as simple as anything you can think of so this is actually very easy so let's just cut out the excess now and go to um, the sewing or um, let's transfer it to the fabric and then go ahead and show you how to join it so like i said please for this sleeve use a an illusion mesh or an illusion tool that would actually come out better this fabric i'm using is just for tutorial purpose so um we'll just go ahead fold this fabric into two and then transfer our pattern to the fabric so that would actually give us what we need and um, let's go ahead and do that now so let's just um, transfer the pattern to the fabric and please when you are cutting yours please make sure the mesh you if you're using a mesh please you have to be very careful cut the exact um measurement of the pattern and also for the cap sleeve we're going to be cutting two of the cap sleeve we're going to be cutting two pieces of the cap sleeve because we need to add stay to the two we're going to add stay to it and then turn it over just like we do for most of um, the sleeve when we are adding stay to it so we are going to add hard stay and the stay to add is actually the very hard stay if you want it to really stand well so you add a very hard stay so what we're going to do now we already have two pieces well i will just take it to my ironing stand press my stay to it and then take it to the sewing machine and then turn it over so as soon as i'm done with that we'll be I think 80% done with the sleeve work. So this is what it looks like after um sewing with the stay. Sorry, ironing the stay to it and sewing with the stay. As you can see, it's very strong and it can actually hold up a sleeve. So basically, um, there are two methods to do this. Um, as soon as you have your cap sleeve and your basic sleeve, you can actually attach the cap sleeve to the dress first. But in this case, I don't have a dress, so that's why I'm just doing showing you this way. So you can actually attach the cap sleeve to the dress first before um attaching your normal sleeve, or you can attach it to the sleeve. Uh, so I just notch the center point of the sleeve, the basic sleeve, the armhole part, and please, this is the tricky part. As you can see, I'm actually um attaching the straight part the straight part not the curved part of the cap sleeve to the armhole of the sleeve so please when you are doing yours please attach the straight part not the curved part if you want it to form attach the straight part to the armhole so that will also um fight try to fight the joining because it doesn't add up as you can see it doesn't match so the straight part does not match with the curve of the armhole part so you can see to actually try to fight it up and to stand on the it that would actually help the cap sleeve to stand well so that's what we need in this case and the curve would actually come out um at the top sorry at the side of the sleeve itself so that's what we are doing i'm just using uh my pins to hold it so please do not forget the straight parts to the armhole now so that's what we do take it to the sewing machine sew it join the sides and i will show you what it looks like so this is what it looks like um unfortunately i don't have a dress so i just had to add it to my mannequin hand and show you exactly what it looks like and it's actually uh very big for the mannequin hand so it's going to hold it up and actually come out really really well so this is what it looks like looks like and thank you so much for joining thank you for so much for always tuning in please do not forget to subscribe